Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I thought I would do a get ready with me, so I have already zoomed the camera in. Uh, it seems like forever since I have been in front of the camera. I got sick, and then I got a little bit better, and then I got the flu. Luckily, I have the flu shot, so they said if you have the flu shot, the flu would last only a small amount of time. So I was sick for 24 hours with really bad um, aches and pains and fever, and then the next day it went away, only for that night for it to move into some sort of stomach virus. But uh, I've been in the house for far too long, so Lou and I, we're just gonna go up the street, and uh, I'm going to eat very bland, no wine tonight, uh, just to get out of the house. So I thought I would just record the um, tutorial for you and I have decided to use all drugstore except with the exception I should say my eyebrows because I have yet to find anything in the drugstore that makes my eyebrows look natural and um, I think perhaps my setting spray because it's the only one I could find without some sort of harsh alcohol into it so I'm going to go ahead and first start with the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. And we're just gonna plop some of that on. I've never used uh, many of these items and then some I have used before. So this I'm gonna focus on my T-zone, in my T-zone area, so that we can see how it addresses the pores. It does have a little bit of a slip. It feels a little on the oily side which may not work nicely for oily skin. Uh, we have our primer on, so now I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Glotion, Lumi Glotion. I absolutely love this. I think they are spot on in creating something that gives you a nice glow, especially for an aging skin, because it does not collect in our lines. Well, I don't know if it's gonna collect in somebody who has really deep, much deeper lines than me, but it does not accentuate age on my face, and that is a bonus for me. There's no glitter chunks to it for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this, and I am wearing 903, and it just comes out like so, looks like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the outer parts of my face. Take a little bit more. It has a little bit of a smell, but you know, it's L'Oreal. They are highly fragranced. Okay, so we're just gonna add the glow, give a little pat to the face. You can go right over the eyebrows with this. I just, I don't go on my nose with because you don't need to accentuate glow on your nose, okay? Right, so for foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this position formula. Lisa actually told me about it. She said she was watching, I think, Sam Sherman, I don't know how to say her last name, and that Sam really loved it. Now, obviously, there's many years between Sam and I, um, but Lisa said she really liked it, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Lisa, her skin's a little bit different than mine, but we pretty much, we like a lot of the same things. So it's the Healthy Foundation with an SPF of 20 and I did, it's a brightening complex. I did get the MW2, comes on a doe foot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plop some of that on my face. I don't really like the doe foot. I will be honest with you, I don't care for it. I think it's hard, but you know, that's just me. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand in case I feel I need more. It's a pretty good color. I think Lisa um, bought the same color. We wear a lot of the same coloring. So, um, except for she leans towards the pinkies and I lean more towards peach. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some of this on my beauty blender and then I'm just gonna go ahead and pounce it um, and see how it works for me. The color is good. It has a nice yellow undertone to it, which is important for me because I am yellow. I don't know, uh, I don't remember how many colors were in the range, but uh, not bad. This is a good color match. So if you wear the same as me, MW2 was the one I picked. It's got a very light sheer coverage. So if you're somebody who is really trying to cover up uh, a lot of scarring or discoloration, we're gonna go ahead, I'll do it for you. We'll see how it builds up, but one coat is, is pretty nice and I would probably leave it like this. Now, of course, I've been a little under the weather so the bags are pretty bad underneath the eyes, but we will add another coat of it just to see how it builds, all right? And this is the damp L'Oreal sponge. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pack some more of that on in the T-zone area. That's where I kind of put most of my foundation. So anyway, um, yeah, the flu bug has not been good. Luckily, Lou has not gotten any of it. That's what, There's a part of me that makes me feel like it's not really the stomach flu. I think it might be a little bit of colitis or something. I was reading up on it, and it, you know, a woman can go through many changes with menopause, and once your hormones start changing, you may develop something that you never had. Uh, so I do have a doctor's appointment. I actually had made one for the other day, but the, I said to her, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. And if it's the stomach flu, I didn't want to infect the whole office, which she greatly appreciated. So I have an appointment for the 16th just to see if anything's going on with my GI doc. All right, so I uh, actually think that's kind of a nice finish. All right, so now for concealer, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Maybelline Rewind. I've used this on and off for years. It's a really nice uh, concealer. And um, I'm using the, what is this? I can't read it. We'll put it under in below, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and pack that underneath the eye. And I'm going to go right over my eye since I do not have an eye primer by the drugstore. So I'm going to take my sponge and we're going to pat that on and top of the eye and you'll see that's just really, uh, it's a very nice concealer. It really is. It's probably, I think, one of the best drugstore concealers. Another drugstore concealer that I do like is by NYX. I think that's nice and also, um, comes in a tube. It might be the Physician's Formula that I like. It's in a it's in a tube. No, no. Rimmel. Rimmel. That's another one that I like. It's very well suited for an aging eye. You don't really get a great color option in the drugstore with all of them. And sometimes you're going to run into the problem of them oxidizing. So you really do have to take the chance of buying one color that you think might work for you, but it may oxidize. I have that problem with a lot of drugstore things. They oxidize a little darker on me, so I have learned that, okay, if it looks like, oh, this might work for me, mm, but does the Maybelline usually oxidize on me, yes or no, and that's how I make my decisions. So, and only you know if something oxidizes on you. I can't really tell you that. You would have to just play around with things yourself. And I am, in my area, the drugstores, even my Wegmans, if you don't like a makeup, you can bring it back because they don't have testers. And they don't have testers because they would be a mess and people would walk off with them anyway. So it's not like a big department store where things are just, you know, a little bit safer because there's a girl usually standing there to help you. But in the drugstore, it's a free-for-all. And I, I really wouldn't want to test. I would like to be able to test drugstore stuff, but... Can you imagine how dirty they would be? I mean, at least in Sephora, they go around and they clean the testers, and I still wouldn't put those on my face, but they do clean them. They try. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a little bit of this above my lip, just to highlight a little, and a little bit right here, because this will just help to brighten the mouth area. And just around the lips, not around the bottom, I'm just going to do that around the top. Just brightens it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take the other side, just make sure it's all softened. And one last pounce around the eyes, and we're good. Okay, so there is my concealer. Okay, so we're going to move into my powder, and we're going to try this. I've not yet tried this. It's by NYX, and it's their Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. Now, I don't normally go with a matte finishing powder, powder but I will finish it off with a setting spray to take the powdery look away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a Real Technique powder brush. And this is very finely melt. I'm going to take a little bit in the cap and work it into the brush because I really don't want a lot of it. I don't even know how this is going to finish up on me. We don't want a lot of it. So I'm just going to tap it off and I'm going to go ahead and just pat it on the areas that I really want it. It's very fine, I can tell you, which I like. Fine powders are always nice for the aging skin, and I'm just going to go around and give it a quick once-over. And then I'm going to do my T-zone area. 
around the mouth, up into the T-zone. And now I'll take just a small amount of that powder and work it really well into the brush, really well. This is very finely milled. This is actually pretty nice. And now I'm just going to pack it onto my eye and underneath. Make sure before you do underneath that your lines are all, nothing's gathered in there because you'll be setting that. I really didn't do it and I probably should have, but I didn't. Okay. I'm going to take it, I'm going to just sweep it down just to make sure none of the hairs are standing up that are on my face. I'm going to do my derma flash tomorrow um, because I want to do a, uh, tomorrow is Sunday, so of course I'm going to do some sort of spa and I didn't feel up to it this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and do it tomorrow and I'm going to incorporate my derma flash. All right, so now that is really set. There's no tackiness on my skin, which is really important. So this really surprised me. I was in uh, my Bed Bath & Beyond, and you know Bed Bath & Beyond always offers coupons, and if you go to your post office, you can always ask him, do you have, or ask them, mine happens to be a man, and just say, do you have any of the extra Bed Bath & Beyond 20% off coupons? And usually they have a stash of them in the back, and, um, you know, they might, they might give you one or two extra. I don't know. I mean, mine, he, he's kind enough to give me one or two. So um, when I was in my Bed Bath & Beyond, not all of them, just some of them, they have a brand new health and beauty fitness area. It is spectacular, my friends. I wish I had had more time to go through the store. I actually, when I'm feeling 100%, I'm going to actually go back to the store because they had so many exciting things. And Milani was one of them. Because Milani, my, I think it's our CVS or our Walgreens carries it, but it's really, they never have anything in stock. It's always a mess. And it was gorgeous in the Bed Bath & Beyond. So I got a couple of things by Milani, which I'm really excited because I always hear people talking about Milani and loving it. I mean, I have a couple of eyeshadows, but not much. So this is their bronzer and it's the Bronzer XL All Over Glow. And it looks like this. And it is color three. So now I'm going to take my faux. This is from Alta and this is by Japanesque. And it's their Kabuki. And I'm going to just load it up with some of this bronzer. Now again, I've not used this. I did break the seal on it so I wasn't here forever. But I'm gonna be here forever anyway, because you know it. And let's apply some of that on. And I just want to go, now remember, I have some of my whites coming through here, so I have to be careful or I'm going to have makeup all over them. So really pay attention to stuff like that if you're wearing white hair, because you don't want to have your makeup all in your hair. So I have to drop it down a little bit lower. And that is really pretty, my friends. Very, very pretty. Remember, this was my first time using this. So excited that I could get the Milani. Because I, I've tried for probably a couple of years now, and I was able to get lucky with a couple of lip pencils. Um, I think I have like one or two eye palettes, and I might have some of their satin finish blushes, but I was never able to find any of this stuff. And uh, this is the stuff that really appeals to me. So I was very excited. All right, so now I'm just gonna I'm gonna run a little bit of this down here. I don't know if you can notice my hives are coming back and I suffered for two years with them and for some reason with this illness I got a lacy hivey rash right there yesterday it was all over my chest today it has calmed down some it's not itching though it's just underneath it's a lacy one all right so uh, we're gonna put a little bit of powder under here and how about this crazy weather we're having? I mean, 55 degrees one day and then a snowstorm the next day. It's weird. Okay, so we've done that. I went, it was going to be a choice between the Milani and the, um, the Butter Bronzer. I bought this, I think, when they first came out with it, maybe last year or the year before. I really like the Physician, Physician Formula Bronzers. They're very nice. So something to keep in mind if you're not, if you're like me and you have a hard time getting the Milani products, the Butter Bronzers are very nice by uh, Physician's Formula. Although Physician's Formula, I will say, is a little more expensive uh, in the drugstore than a, than a normal drugstore price. So now I'm going to take my powder brush and I just want to sweep down a little bit and I want to blend. 
and that is really pretty very very pretty my friends okay so uh, I'm gonna wait and another just I pulled it out just to show you all I also have the insta ready BB bronzer by a uh, physician formula which is a multitude of colors another nice one that you could get if you can't find the uh, Milani okay so now for the eyes where are my palettes I was very undecided what I would do for my eyes and I have two palettes and I think I'm not crazy about these L'Oreal I purchased them this one's not even yes it, it's been opened but I've not really used it a lot and this is all the mauve undertones but I don't think I want to really go with that one so I bought this a while ago and this is by MUA Professional and this is the nudes. I bought this at my um, CVS, I believe. Let me just get this open here. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. So I just thought I would give this a try because to be honest with you, I don't see much of this on YouTube and I'm not familiar with how these shadows work at all. So let's go for it, okay? So I'm gonna use a uh, Real Technique uh, eyeshadow brush, I think this is, and I'm just gonna start with the this one right here, it's a light one, it's a peachy light. Remember, I have no idea what these shadows are gonna be like. They may be a total bust for me. So let's go ahead and pack that on. Okay, it comes up much, it looks like it's going to be a peach tone once you, when you're looking at it, but once you put it on, it pulls white on my skin. So I will have to blend other colors in with it because those will not look good on me just like that. Go okay. ahead and sweep this one all the way up. And this will also act as our highlighter. And I'll just play with another color in the transition area to make this work. Okay, so now I'm, I, the brushes I use, most of the brushes are going to be by Morphe, which I feel are very affordable, good brushes. So go on the Morphe site and really take a look at some of their brushes because I work a lot with the M441. It really is a nice brush. So, okay, let's get going. Okay, so gonna, we'll go ahead and we're going to take this color and I'm going to tap it off. And now I want to just start toning that white down that's on my lid. So I'll go ahead and use that color. And we'll see. You don't get much payoff. No much color payoff. Okay, you know, so I picked up a new M441 by um, Morphe. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up this color here because the second color really didn't do much for me, okay? So I'm just going for a really kind of natural look. So I'm just gonna sweep some of this color on my lid right here. And that's okay, it's an okay color. So we're gonna go ahead and just pack that on. Maybe I'll pull some of this burgundy in with it. But right now I'm just gonna sweep that color over the lid just to give it some warmth and tone because it will wear better on my eyes that way. Yeah, that's, it's better. You see, as I deepen something, it really looks much better on me. Okay, as far as blending, it's hard for me to see how they're blending until I get to this one. And okay. hey, it's not bad. Let me come in closer so I can see. It's not, it's not bad, my friends, okay, so now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up the burgundy. We'll tie some burgundy into it, okay? It's actually, and let's just put that on the outer part of my lid and see how that works. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Go and do the other side. I'm not loving these, my friends. I'm not loving these shadows. Yeah, yeah, men are like, I don't like these shadows. Okay, in my opinion, I don't really care for this palette. So I'm gonna try to use my finger because I really wanna get some of that color. All right, so there it is. Let's pack it with my finger and I'll probably get a little more, yeah, I'll get a little more color payoff that way. Do the same thing on the other side. Although once you get it on the eye, it's not really showing up a pretty purple. It's almost turning into like a gray black. So I don't really care for these. But we're gonna, we're gonna stick with them, my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna pack color on the outer part. 
Okay, so there we have them packed. So now I want to go in with a clean brush. So I'm going to pick up a, this is a Morphe 505. And I'm just going to sweep that color and blend it down a little bit. Yeah, these don't really do much for me. Not at all. Kind of boring. Yeah, I don't really like these. But we'll leave it. That's what it's going to look like. I'll put some liner and stuff on. And maybe with my eyebrows and everything, it'll come to life and I'll put a swipe of blush over it. It'll all put together. All right, so I would say pass on these. Absolutely. Unless you're already using them and love them and then that works. That's great for you. Um, I'm going to put a little pop of color right here. I'm going to just take this and I'm going to put that right in the center of my eye just to bring it to life a little bit. Okay, see that had more color to it than the others do. Okay, I should have probably used those, but I really wanted to try the MUA because I've never, I don't see many people talking about them. Okay, there you have it. There's that all up for now, okay? All right, so let's see. Gonna take, uh, I'm gonna do my tight line. So I'm gonna take the Revlon Lustrous Color, and this is in suede Brown. This is very, very, very similar to my Via Pia by NARS. Uh, it's almost identical in color. It doesn't transfer a whole lot down onto the waterline, but um, I don't mind this pencil at all. Another one that I like is the Alme, and it is called, I think I brought it out here, but I'm going to use the Revlon. The Alme pencils are very good too, and they have, I think it's a topaz color that I like also. So I'm going to go ahead and just do my tight lining. Now, a lot of people really have a difficult time with the tight lining. So a tight lining, the best I can tell you, here's going to be the only lesson in the video. Lift your eye up, and you'll see a lip, and your lashes come out of that lip. Lay your pencil on so you're sweeping up against the lashes on that lip. So when you look at that line from underneath, like when I'm looking at it right now, I have pencil on that whole upper lip. And when you, except for my contacts getting a little wonky on me, so hang on. When you are doing it, you want to actually see yourself moving your eyelashes, okay? Because then you create more depth to the eye. And you can look at me and see how that changed my eye. Just by adding that, it actually makes you look like you already have a little bit of mascara or something on. So we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye, and that is the other eye. Now, you could go ahead and line your lower waterline. For me, that closes my eye off. It also can give you the appearance of having a very sultry eye. It depends on your eye size, whether you can handle it on the water line and the upper line. Now, now um, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna put anything underneath my eyes, but I need to put a little bit of blush on. So, uh, I found this by Milani, and it's beautiful. I just think it's stunning. And this is the uh, Color Harmony Blush Palette, and this is number four in Berry Rays. Just absolutely thought it was gorgeous. They have two other colors. So now, since I've been able to play with some of these products and see the quality, I will definitely go back and look for more. So now, so, I notice this has more of a mauve tone, it has a bright berry, it has a pink, and then it has a very subtle pink. So let's do the, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take a quick sweep around and see how it picks up, and then I'm gonna tap it on my hands to see. Okay, it's pretty sheer. So let's go ahead and give it a sweep, tap it off. I'm going to pack that on right here. And if it's a very soft sheer blush, I'm okay with packing it on there because it actually gives a fullness to the face. And many of you are saying I am looking too thin, that I've lost so much weight. Um, I have not lost any more weight. 
I think what you're seeing is just a woman who is aging. I have gone through the transition of menopause and I think that I'm losing volume in my face. My weight is the same. Um, I'm trying, I'm actually still about nine pounds from my goal weight, but um, I'm just an aging woman. And I, I think what happens with age is your hormones deplete and so does your collagen and your elastin. And I think that you get a slight sagging and I just feel that I'm losing volume with age. So don't worry about me. I'm not too thin. Um, there's nothing about me that wants to be a size zero, especially at my height. Uh, so, but I appreciate the concern, but I am good. Okay. I eat very healthy and I would like to lose nine pounds, but if I do lose it and you see my face being thin, it's just a natural progression. I understand that if I keep extra weight on my body, my face will look better, but mm, you gotta pick your poison, my friends. Okay. Let's get back to the tutorial. So we're going to give another sweep and tap it off and go ahead and pack that. It's a very subtle, pretty blush. Very. I really love this. I may go back and get the coral. I picked the pink, although you know my mind, my hand wanted to go right for the uh, coral. I picked the pink because I have so much in coral. This is beautiful, my friends, beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to sweep over the three lightest. I don't wanna pick this bright, oh, I, I'm gonna sweep over the three lightest. I don't wanna pick this bright one off and tap it off. And I'm gonna sweep on my eye brow to marry them all together. And that will help to take care of all that brightness that came with those eyeshadows, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Very nice blush, very nice. Oh, I love it, I love it. So happy, so happy, so happy. Okay, so, all right, now, let's just take a quick sweep, make sure that everything is blended down, and then we're gonna do, I'm gonna do my eye, brow, and eyelashes, I'm going to do off camera. And then, of course, I'll come back with my hair down and my outfit on. But we need to pick a lip. Now, when I'm... Okay. So for lips, I am going to go with the Long Lasting Finish by Rimmel. And this... My eyes are a little dry. This is Wild Clover. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, little tip for you. If you, are, you want to have fuller looking lips... Um, if you go right on the edge of your lip, on the outer, and then just underneath the bottom, and put a little bit of bronzer right underneath, you can get the illusion of having a fuller bottom lip. For the upper lip, you want to stay right on the line here, and then when you get to the mid-range right about here, lift it up a little over the actual line. Okay, so you're staying true to your lip here and just extending a little bit more on the uh, peak, the bow. The peak. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> Okay, so I have done my line. So now I just want to go ahead and fill in right on the edge. Because I want to have a pouty look for my lover. Okay, so my center is left open. And now I am going to try that Balmain. Why not? This was a little pricey for a lipstick in the drugstore. I think it was $15, something like that but it's still better than a Tom Ford at 54 or whatever Tom Ford is. Okay. This has very good, um, it's a very dense lipstick, a lot of um, texture to it. Okay, so there is the lip. And again, that is called, uh, the liner was Wild Clover. Yes, Wild Clover by Rimmel. And the lip is Balmain's Confession. And I only found this in Florida. I've never seen it here in New York. I'm going to put a little bit of a highlighter on. So I'm going to use the NYX. And this is Born to Glow. 
And I'm going to take my faux. Where is that little brush I was using? Where'd you go, you little stinker? Where did that brush go? It just dropped off my table? Did it fall? Is it in my lap? What did I do with it? Oh, I don't know what I did with it. What did I do with that brush? Did I put it back? I may have. I don't know. I don't know where the brush went that I wanted to use. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use this. This was by Thrive. This is that vegan cruelty free. This is not a drugstore brush, but I can't seem to find the drugstore one that I was using. It jumped off my table or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sweep a little bit of this, tap it off. And I just want to give a little bit of a highlight here. This is actually a very nice highlight for an aging skin. It doesn't have a lot of glitter. And I like that. Okay. Beautiful. All right. I'll be right back. Well, hello, my friends. I am back. And uh, I'm letting you know that uh, I came back and my hair is down and I have my outfit on. Obviously, you can see it. But what, little did I know that when I was recording this video, I had forgot to plug in the microphone. And then when I came back and sat down, I plugged the microphone in to only found that, find out while editing that the battery was dead. So I'm going to just narrate now. So I did use a setting spray on my face and I used the Too Faced 3-in-1 uh, I believe it's called. It's silicone and alcohol free. I really like it. It smells like a coconut island. Beautiful. And then I'm letting you know that my eyebrows are the usual suspects. Uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz and Gel in Caramel. And then the mascara I am going to show you, uh, I don't care for at all. It flakes and it gives me what I call spidery lashes. It gives you great length, but it doesn't give you any depth as far as I'm concerned. And I much more prefer depth to my lashes than length. Uh, and it is the Maybelline, and I believe it's called the Temptation. It's their newest one, the one that's in that peachy pink tube with the black label, as you can see in my hand. Um, so I probably will not use this again. And I will say that I noticed that when I applied the first coat of this mascara and allowed it to dry and then went back in to put the second coat of mascara on, I already had flakes underneath my eyes. Now, as an aging woman, I already have wrinkles under my eyes. I surely don't need mascara underneath my eyes because I feel not only does it look dirty and sloppy and it messes up the look of your makeup, it also draws attention to your eyes because people are going to be looking at the black mascara flakes or the brown mascara or the blue, whatever you're wearing. But I believe this only comes in two colors or something like that. So I don't care for it. And I'm letting you know that I really do love the foundation and I just think the Milani bronzer and blush are beautiful. And I'm letting you know that I have lipstick all over my teeth and the Balmain uh, L'Oreal lipstick, uh, I'm not sure that I would rush out to buy any other colors in it. Uh, so that would be it for the look. Now I'm moving on to the silver in my hair. Um, the I'm not sure where I'm going with this with the silver right now it is just the hair that frames my face the rest of my hair is all the same color and I'm explaining it to you now that when I look in the mirror I see my mother my mother had pure white hair with some salt and pepper areas and it's really interesting how my gray is growing in it's so much like my mother's it's amazing my mother in her temple area and right to the Widow Peak uh, area there, she was pure white. And then right in the center here, she was a little bit darker. It was more salt and pepper. And that's exactly how I am. My grays are growing in. So I see my mother every single time I look in the mirror. It's amazing to me with age. And I'm sure many of you see this. I never really thought I looked like my mother. And now... That's all I see when I look in the mirror is my mother. So um, I guess I can say it's a nice reminder. I miss her. 
All right, so that is pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to end the video now. Uh, I, I, I did have more conversation with you, but I don't remember it. A lot of people ask me about the silver hoops I'm wearing. They are Uno de 50, and I get them. Uh, we had a jeweler that carried them here, but they can be purchased at Lord & Taylor. And the top I'm wearing is just a top that I showed from Nordstrom Fall Hall. It's the one with the dreaded bow sleeves that everybody had a hard time with. I just tuck them in when we go out. And we did have a very good time, and I was able to enjoy a little bit of the food. I kept it bland, as I mentioned, but we had a great date night. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. We are living life. Go out in the world and be happy healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.